Hello everyone, this is Sheldon from Show Art Art. I did a flip cup earlier, which I think I over torched. So it got a little psychedelic on me. But my dear wife said if I put a realistic element to it, it'll kind of help it out a bit. But still, I like the way it's celled up. It just, I just got a lot of cells in it. But anyway, um, I'm going to do a bloom now to kind of shake that frustration. So let's get ready to get started. But I did leave my blow dryer for one second. So I got this, it's called a seven net. I looked up at Yeehoo, Yeehoo Old Dryer and I found this seven magic, which is a very wonderful blow dryer. It's powerful now. And so, but it's cool because it's got an automatic cool setting. So the only time you get heat is when you actually push the button on it. I think. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a button you push for hot, and then you can push it for cold. All right, so now it stays cold. So now... All I got to do is blow it. So let's get started. I'm going to get my pillow paint, which also I left over here. I think what happened is that this uh, psychedelic um, uh, in fact, I'll give you a look at it to see let me see what I'm referring to. But this psychedelic um, flip cup got my mind all discombobulated. So that's it right there. Nice and psychedelic. But I over torched it and have way too many cells for my taste. But I think somebody will love it because it's a struggle for many to get cells. And I get it. When I first started pouring, it was a struggle for me to get some cells and to get them, to get it done properly, and it took a while. So now, this time I'm gonna do a bloom. And I got some colors that my dear wife helped me pick out. Well, I had some colors that I didn't think go well together. So I asked her, I said, well, what do you think about this? And she said, this one color won't go well together. And I think I kind of agree. So I'm going to do the bloom without that particular color. It's a mystery color. Anyway, so I'm going to start off with... Um, Key lime. Key lime may come back as a guest appearance, but for now, I'm going to give it a background. Plenty of paint. Then I have this Carmen. It's almost, I wanted to have the same feel as the one I did before called Jelly Beans.
or the Mike and Ike ones because I love that candy look. That's the boysenberry. This color is called Chambord. It's like a raspberry color because Chambord is a raspberry liqueur. And then Do I bring the, um, yeah, I'll bring the key lime back out. I have some closer to the top layer. This nice bright blue. It's like a turquoise blue as opposed to a turquoise green this nice hot pink magenta color i believe this is the tempted tulip okay now i'm going to do a white cell activator topped with a black because i like the receding look to it as opposed to the lightning when I got these multiple colors here. So and this gives me those candy-like, jewel-like cells. So now I love this um I used to use oxide black by Amsterdam for my cell activator, but I've Grown pretty fond of this carbon black by um, Golden. It sinks pretty well and it makes great uh, cells and lacing. So let's blow this baby out. feel like I'm not going to like this. I didn't test this color palette out before. Um, I don't like this long strand of cells right there. What's your name? You like the way this looks so far?
I guess it's starting to come together, okay? I thought I was not gonna like it, but it's still starting to look like some of my other pieces. But I did say I wanted to have that jelly beans look to it. So. Maybe you had some modifications to it. While the rest of that paint collects in the middle. And of course, this is sitting on um, um, the remnants of my flip cup. I will start a swirl like I'm touching the canvas. And then as I get to the tip, I'm literally barely grazing the top of the paint itself. And slowly taking it around to lift some of that paint from the bottom to the top. See, these little pointed areas right here, this is where I make my modifications. Like a little point right here, see how that comes to a little point? All that's gonna do is become a bigger point and get under my skin. So instead of allowing that to continue that way, I am actually Going to let that, that run off. I think all this is going to run off the sides anyway, so I'm not worried about modifying anything further. So let me give this a spin and see what happens. So here we go. Slow spin. I try to do every time. Before I used to wing that thing, but now I've learned how to spin it slow in order for me to, uh, to me, get better results because I'm not jerking the paint around and all of my modifications are staying, um, Nice and where it is. See how this is still smooth and not all wiggly? And these are not wiggly because of that reason of not spinning it so fast. So 
That's a little tip for the day. I've said it the time before, but I'm gonna say it again. And you don't spin it the other direction, but it really doesn't matter what direction you spin it in, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, because all the force is coming from the center outward. So it's not like you're going to straighten up any kind of cells or anything like that by doing so. All right, so there you have it. I think that's pretty good. I can I can work with that. So let me um, get you down for a closer look. And I guess my wife was right. I stuck with her word instead of thinking about scraping. I stuck with it, and it turned out pretty nicely. So let me take it down for a closer look. All right. Here it is for a closer look. See those candy-like, jelly bean-like cells? Which is kind of what I was going for. I like that look. But you see how that modification doesn't look all wrinkly? Is there another one here? And then this one also doesn't look all wiggly wobbly because I did not spin the paint, or I did not spin the canvas rather, too fast. Look at how those cells begin to glow from within. They're different colors, and they're very light, and they're very pretty in 3D. So, thank you for watching. Let me get my, this is glare off of off of it. There you go. That's better. That's a better look. I had to take the glare off to get you a better look. But there you have it, folks. So thank you for watching. This is Sheldon from Shell Rock Art. And have a very pleasant evening. And happy pouring. Good night.